Mm, the closed cover is moving, but not enough so I can see. If only there was a gust of wind. Long time no see, Boisseau's Park. Nothing. Park mausoleums were not spared by the cult either. They are a real scourge for this village. completely locked. Beach access and renovation. repairman in charge of fixing this gate. I've found a way to supply current to this unpredictable electrical panel. I've linked it to one of the small wind generators we have in the village. As long as there is wind, there will be current. Only issue is that while I was fixing it, one of those freaking birds stole the key from my van. If you find them, please bring them to my office. Mr. Levins. People of St. Exel suffered so much in recent years. It's moving to see that they tried their best to maintain the festivals and other traditions. Only one destination for you? My bad. Amongst birds living in the park, you will find the Corvus Picatrix. I know you, you little flying thief. They keep their precious loot inside their beak, which makes it really hard to get back. To prevent such situations, scarecrows were installed by local farmers.
Let's take a walk. Just you and me. I could not finish fixing this fence because the damn bird stole my van's key, where all my tools are. I have been trying to get them back, but it's nested high up and I can't seem to attract it. If you manage to get my keys back, please call me at the number written on my truck, Mr. Levin. I'm going to need something to break those. I feel that the wind turbine is going to need a little help from me to launch. Sweet! It was enough to start the turbine! Solve this puzzle and win a coin to use in George's workshop. Let's meet in my very own George workshop to collect your prize. Well, if you can solve this. I hope to see you again soon. Solve this puzzle and win a coin to use in George's workshop. You know it as well as I, the devil hides in the details. The solution of this puzzle too? No puzzle can assist me. I don't think I can get used to it. That will teach you to look at me sideways. Birdie, it's between you and me now.
Bugaz. There's a thieving crow's nest right up there. As expected, it has something in its beak, but it will only leave its nest if it appears safe to do so. There's a thieving crow's nest right up there. As expected, it has something in its beak, but it will only leave its nest if it appears safe to do so. There's a thieving crow's nest as expected, but it will only leave its nest if it appears safe to do so. Minus one. Take that. Rudy should feel free to leave its nest now. Now that the scarecrows are gone, I need something to attract it. Hmm. Now that the scarecrows are gone, I need something to attract it. Hmm. Now that the scarecrows are gone, I need something to attract it.
Hmm. Now that the scarecrows are gone, I need something to attract it. I'm going to need something to break those. Thomas Levins. Fixing pipes is all right. Now try with my life. When things get back to normal, you'll have plenty to do, my friend. I'm gonna need the key.
here. Uh, this is going to sound ridiculous, but I needed to talk to you, so here I am. I know it's not a phone, and you're not on the other side, but I make do with what I have. Uh, the evenings are long without you, and I, I miss our discussions. I'm locked up because of the monsters, so I have to find something to take care of. You'll never believe me, but I've discovered a new passion, making bullets for my pistol. <laughs> it has become my comforting little evening ritual. And then I read newspapers or documents that I found. I try by all means to discover information that would allow me to understand what is happening here. When I can't sleep, I sort my tapes and listen to your songs again. This is by far my favorite time of the day. Well, it's already very late, and I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Sweet dreams. Did I ever tell you about the sea columns? It's the only thing I like about this hell. If you could see them, you would love them too. These are huge columns of water that start from the sea and rise slowly towards the sky, to infinity. They exude a feeling of quiet strength, serene power. They carry with them rocks which gravitate alongside them throughout their ascent. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel almost calm looking at them. Still, I don't think we should be fooled by their placid appearance. Inside, thunder and flashes rage silently, reminding us that they are inhabited by a formidable energy. Moreover, they also emit strange and deaf noises, like a, like an animal cry or a, a complaint. Anyway, I'm not the only one to be fascinated by this show. Birds and seagulls are attracted to these columns and flock to their base by the hundreds. They fly around for hours, as if waiting for something. I'm always afraid they'll get caught, but the columns are gentle giants. One thing is certain. I will continue to admire them from the cliff.
Hmm. Now that the scarecrows are gone, I need something to attract it. There. We told you stealing was bad. Now, I only need to find the truck. Probably not an organized person. He left a client's tape inside his toolbox. Hello, Mr. Levant. I'm calling you because I have, again, a problem with the digital code that you installed last year. As I can't see very well at night, I asked you to make each key sound different. But for a few days when I entered the code you gave me, two keys no longer make noise. Listen! Could you contact me when you get my message? This is becoming a real problem for me. Stay on the floor.
the beach. Here we go. I think I found the antenna. Behind, Wasso's Park. Left, Assumptions Church. Ahead, Restaurant Panier à Crab. Nothing. Cult movement sticker. I'll speak out against you. This sect seems to have been terrorizing the people of St. Exel for too long. This bridge needs a lever to unlock it. This trap doesn't look the same as the others. The stitches are finer, but this one's empty. How shellfish of you. were a place of the particularly intense fishing that supplied the region. Following the drop in activity, this fishing port was converted into a simple marina. It is always possible at low tide to find fishing traps with shellfish in them. older than me. Afraid of no boat anymore, are you? You are the one I'm looking for. Daily menu, mackerel in white wine or mussels marinare. Fisherman's menu, salmon tartare and grilled sea bream. Mm, sounds better than it tastes.
let me guess. You want me to serve you a refreshing perfection. Is that it? We all had these experiences at least once. You come across a restaurant. Outwardly, it seems unpretentious and quite shabby, but the cuisine is in fact exceptional. Well, this restaurant wasn't one of them. The food there was atrocious. A little perfection for the road. completely locked. A note from the local fishermen about seagulls. Obviously, they spent their time stealing the shellfish from traps. This could have an impact on future deliveries. There is a lot of other information that could be useful to me. I'll write that down. I'm gonna need a key for this one. If only the kitchen lived up to the view. Pierre really wanted us to eat here, but I always managed to find an excuse not to. I would give anything to have these moments with him now. They left a message. For me? Hmm. I'm going to be curious. Honey, it's me. I did something stupid. Again. I dropped the key to the restaurant in the gutter in front of the post office. And I can't get it back. I know you have a lot of work with the ending exhibition, but as soon as it's over, can you open to Artisan with the double? I don't understand why so many people are uh, attracted by a stupid secretary that unlocks with the help of light. Our superb cooking skills should be enough for them. In any case, before they start their work, don't forget to store our most important items in this secretary. We'll just have to remember to put them away before reopening the exhibition. And most importantly, don't forget to put inside what the Doro gave us to access their garden. Sorry to be your super mega burden. Love ya. When the new owner bought the restaurant from the famous craftsman George, they decided to keep the moonstone furniture from his personal collection. This stone is very sensitive to light and shines brightly when exposed to daylight. That's what was making all the noise upstairs. Why is this furniture moving by itself? Am I going crazy?
I can feel the humidity on this floor. It's no longer watertight, explains the closure for renovation of the restaurant. Luckily, some light seeps through these boards so I can see something. 